Hello, ladies and jelly spoons. Welcome to the Game Dojo. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit funny. My mouth is very swollen and it's in pain. And I can barely lay on my pillow, but why lay on a pillow? If you can't sleep and you're in pain, it's time to game. So, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> boys and girls, children of all ages, the Nintendo Direct just dropped today. And, you know, I know there wasn't going to be nothing for a Nintendo <clears throat> successor or Mario Kart 9 or 10 or another Mario Kart, you know, bundle attached to the Mario Kart 8 and more characters. I was just, you know, hoping against hope. But there were some great things. There were some great things. Uh, some games I'm interested in and some just not my cup of tea. But we're a gamer, so we'll try anything once. But... They did give us an update that today we would have some new games dropping on a Nintendo Switch online service. We tried out the first one. By the way, if you do not know and you did not see my first video, the Nintendo Switch 64 17 Plus app is not an update to your regular app. You actually have to go to the eShop and download it. It's a separate app altogether. Something that they never discussed, something that nobody was ever told. We were left to our own devices to figure it out, and I figured it out, so I'm putting you on. I put myself on, so I'm putting you on. Um, also, <clears throat> in addition to Perfect Dark and Turok, which I'm not gonna get into it, Perfect Dark, well, absolutely amazing. Turok, you guys had one job. You messed up the controls. You messed up the controls. The controls are so horrible, it makes the game unplayable to me. Um, but that's nor here nor there. Welcome to the Nintendo Power Hour, ladies and gentlemen, where everything for the next half hour to an hour is Nintendo. All Nintendo Power. Welcome to the Game Dojo. You see where you are. You know where you are. You see the walls, you see the uh, gigantic switch, you see that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my game dojo. This is my fortress of solitude, deep within the heart of gamer nation, within the boundaries of gamer country. I am not wearing the precious because I have misplaced the precious. The ring has abandoned the game ninja. I don't know where my precious is. My precious is gone. My precious is gone. That's probably why my face is all swollen up and jacked up because I lost the precious. But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to sit back, relax with your favorite bag of snacks and get ready for these game tracks because I am the Game Ninja Baby and this is what I do. And for the next minutes, half hour to an hour, you're invited to my game dojo to enjoy what we have. And ladies and gentlemen, the other update that we received on a Nintendo Switch online service comes none other than Game Boy Advance. Now, we just got some Game Boy games at the beginning of this month. If you don't know, I'm actually going to show you. So let's swap the camera around so that you can get that first person point of view right next to me. And I can show you what I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay, let's do that. Okay, ladies and jelly spoons. So that's that Mature app I was telling you about. So now we got two. We got the Mature plus the regular app, Game Boy Advance. But earlier on, we did have a Game Boy uh, one. Uh, the Game Boy one they gave us in the beginning of June, I believe it was like June 6th or 7th, was five, five Mega Man games. There you go. It was Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5. And with the host of other games that they gave us, our Game Boy collection is growing along nicely. I mean, I can't be angry about that. I can't at all. So, yeah, close that off. Uh, yeah, go ahead. They gave us the niche, the Mature 17 Plus Act. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that. But they also gave us Game Boy Advance. So, Game Boy Advance, um, I'm not sure. I know they said the games. There you go. Turn that down a little. Turn it down. All right, so the games they gave us is uh, Metroid Zero Mission and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Four Swords, which includes the multiplayer. So you can play that online with your friends. So let's just hop right on in and see what we got going on. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past includes multiplayer adventures Four Swords. Boop.
Nintendo, now you're playing with portable power. By the way, we are playing with our uh, Nintendo Pro Controller Monster Hunter Edition via N Nitro. Shout out to N Nitro. He could not be here with us to celebrate this. We'll do it in his honor with his controller.
having fun with that. I mean, it's it's Zelda. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there another one in here? My bad. Sorry. Now, what was Four Swords? Is Four Swords just a multiplayer? It is. It's just a multiplayer. So, let's do Metroid Zero Mission. Hold on. We gotta go back. Come on. Hit the button. Skip through the, the intro. We gotta be able to see it. There we go. Impressive graphics for a Game Boy game. Now we can hit start. Start game. We're gonna do easy because y'all need to know why. It's a Metroid game.
Okay, so that was Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, in conjunction with these two games, uh, the five games they gave us on June 7th, all the uh, Mega Mans, and now the Nintendo 64 17 Plus, where we received Perfect Dark and a less than perfect Turok. Well, Turok is great. It's just the controls that are so wonky and horrible. It's almost impossible to play. Though it irks the living hell out of me. But since you guys are here, we might as well set the synchros and just do a race. Since you guys love my Game Boy Advance video the other day. Do 100. Pick my boy Bowser. Mushroom Club.
see, we went very far. We did pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Thank you for joining me on yet another Nintendo Power Hour. The first 40 minutes was filled up with uh, the Nintendo 64 Mature app over here, the new 17 Plus app, where we played Perfect Dark, which was absolutely amazing. I don't know if y'all wanted to look at that. Y'all like, look like y'all wanted to look at that, but so was that. So Perfect Dark was absolutely amazing. Turok, the Dinosaur Hunter, the controls are complete awfulness. Um, I hope there's a patch where they can change, um, where you can remap the controller because I don't get it because there are clearly other Nintendo 64 games that are absolutely amazing and they use, they, they, re, re, they use the double analog system here. I know the Nintendo 64 only had one analog, but I played Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark. We, we played all these games that it runs finally. Why would you make the control so freaking wonky for Turok? I don't get it. I don't get it. It almost makes it unplayable. Thank God here in the game dojo we have a real Nintendo 64 with about maybe 40 or 50 real Nintendo 64 games and we have Turok Dinosaur Hunter so we might have to pull that out and set that up because this was not working this was not working but the games we got for Game Boy well absolutely awesome I can see myself playing a link to the past a bunch of times I would like to jump online and play that four swords uh, just to see if it's dungeon hopping and what you can do with other people online. So I'm going to have to get together with some squads and see if we can squad uh, Link to the Past. That might be awesome. Um, Metroid is always a good time. No matter when you play Metroid, anything but Metroid Dread. We played Metroid Dread and oh my god. I stopped counting after about maybe 211 deaths. And Metroid Dread, and I just gave up. I was like, yeah, y'all got that. You straight with yours. You good. I love the game, but um, this is where I exit. I love Metroid, but Dread is just, it's over the top. It's over the top. Like, absolutely bazonkers over the top. Uh, but I do enjoy the earlier renditions of Metroid, this being one of them. And I, I love the feeling. I love the feeling. I love the gameplay. It can be challenging, very challenging, but it's not Metroid Dread. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me here in the Nintendo Power Hour. I am your host, The Game Ninja. Let me take a picture for posterity. That might actually might be the thumbnail to this video. I don't know. Well, let's go on that Game Boy. Let's, let's, let's go into that Game Boy and see if we can take, oh, take a picture. There you go. Mike, take the picture. Mike, take the picture. Mike, take the picture. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? I'm, I'm talking to Ray, Ray, Reyes. You know, he said he's down for whatever. Y'all remember that from uh, Bad Boys? Bad Boys 2? When the, the ecstasy scene, Martin and the morgue. And he went to go see the captain. And he was rubbing on the captain's head and smelling on him. Great scene. I just saw Bad Boys uh, 4, which I'm so angry they didn't entitle Bad Boys 4 or Bad Boys for Life. Like, it was right there. How did nobody see? Even Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have gone on um, TikTok and said, you know, yeah, we thought about it afterwards. Like, nobody was on it from the start. But it's, it's all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me here in the Game Dojo for another beautiful drop of games. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine games for the month of June from Nintendo Switch Online. And I could not be happier. Um, I do wish something could be done about Turok, but see, I'm a gamer. I'm an e-gamer. And extreme gamers, we always find a way to play a game. If you don't give it to us one way or another, we're going to play a game. 
And I got the real Nintendo 64 sitting right over there. I got the real Perfect Dark. I got the real Turok Dinosaur Hunter. And it's hooked up to this TV. Y'all saw me play it last week. Like, we, we played that. We played the Xbox 360, the Sega Genesis. We went back in the day and played the original Xbox. We got the, uh, the Atari Jaguar, the Atari Lynx. Man, we just, bro, we will, we will have ourselves a good time. Like, but I would prefer for the games that function on your online HDMI beautiful Nintendo Switch to function as the games we played back in the day. But that's another story. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me here in my beloved game dojo for another beautiful gaming session. Sorry my mouth is, real. like I said, my face and my mouth is really swollen. I'm going through a hell of a time, but I can't really sleep because my face, even on the pillow, causes me extreme pain. And I'm popping pain meds like Skittles. But if you can't pain, my philosophy is, if you can't, if you can't sleep, because you in pain, then go game. And that's what we did. And that's what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I love you guys. And until next time, keep that game tight like Kobe did on game night. Your game is on and it's strong. And when it's on, it's like hot buttered popcorn. And another Donkey Kong game that they're coming out with. Can we just get a new Donkey Kong game? But Well, no, you know what? I don't like that. Screw Donkey Kong. We, we, we played Mario Kart and I, ain't, I don't feel right yet. Me and him got some issues we ain't hashed out yet. So, nah. Save that Donkey Kong stuff. We aight. We aight. Go ahead with the Mario and Luigi. We aight. We straight. Donkey Kong, you do you. But I'm going to see you on the track next time. Ladies and gentlemen, another show, another game, another round. Maybe you're right side up and I'm upside down. Let's get out of here. I love you guys. I'll check you out later.